Hello, Immaculata community. My name is Sean Castellano, and I'm a junior in the AP seminar class. Today, my research will focus on the question, to what extent would universal health care coverage impact the treatment of mental health in the United States? To begin, high income improves the evaluation of physical well-being. As income increases, generally, your physical well-being increases as you are able to develop yourself physically and have access to material goods and healthcare. This was derived from an article from Common and Deaton from the College Board. But high income does not necessarily increase your emotional well being. As your income increases, there is little more money can accomplish for you in terms of physical health care. In comparison, little research is devoted to mental disorders which are considered collectively as becoming a widespread pandemic. In California alone, 1 million patients were diagnosed with a mental illness from 2012 to 2014, rendering this a domestic pandemic. Moving to a universal healthcare system would lower the cost for the individual. Through budgeting practices and using value-based pricing of new medical technologies, However, regarding mental health treatment, there are many concerns under universal health care, such as the lack of diagnosis, quality of facilities and care, and the analysis of overall cost. Mental illness can be caused by a variety of factors, mostly through human genetics and brain chemistry, but it can also be caused by environmental stressors and traumatic events, such as participating in a war. Annually, 19% of United States adults experience a mental illness, which interferes with their daily life and activities, so much so that the loss of productivity from undiagnosed illnesses totals $31 billion worldwide. The disparity in treatment calls into question the quality of facilities and care. In the European Union in 2017, 165 million people were diagnosed with mental illness, but only 33% of them were treated properly. An absence of coverage is apparent with the shortage of mental health professionals in the United States and the few resources and spaces devoted for treating illness. When compared in universal healthcare system countries, there is a large disparity between high and low income countries. In high-income countries, the rate of coverage for mental health disorders is less than 50%, and in low-income countries, the rate of coverage is less than 10%, where fewer than 1 in 10 people get access to proper mental health care. The government is also placed in complete control of facilities and care, creating great politiz politicization of health care because of the elected officials' control. Budget shortfalls determine money allocated for treatments, and the elected officials determine which treatments are considered elective, which would increase a wait time, which slows the correctional pace. In an analysis of overall cost, in an article published in February 2020 by Takanen and Abrams, the United States spends much more per capita than the average of other OCED countries a union between European, European and North American countries. In the United States, total spending for healthcare purposes, public and private, is $10,000 per capita, which renders 17% of the GDP towards healthcare. When compared to other OCED countries, it is only $5,500 per capita, which is an average of each country, for 8.8% of the GDP. Private spending for healthcare purposes, such as deductibles and copays, in the United States totals to about $4,000 per capita annually, whereas in OCED countries, it averages to about $390 per capita annually. In addition, out-of-pocket cost for certain treatments in the United States totals to $1,122 per citizen, which is comparable to the $800 per citizen with other OCED countries. 
The outcome of spending in the United States has many positive and negative effects. The United States has the highest rates of suicide, obesity, and the occurrence of chronic diseases, with the lowest average life expectancy of OCED countries of 78.6 years. However, the United States also has the lowest number of physicians per capita and the lowest number of average doctor visits, rendering the general public generally healthy. In addition, the United States has the highest rates of hospitalization of avoidable deaths. A few limitations of universal health care include the problem of individual treatment and care. In practice, taxes should cover all treatment, but care should be individualized. Wait times should be improved, so certain treatments that cannot be delayed, physically and mentally, get proper care. With a universal health care system, you must place trust in the government's monopoly of, of consumption of health care and use and the role of economics of health care. In conclusion, universal health care coverage would not provide substantial help for mental health care. Despite reducing the cost in the short term, the risks of underfunded research and treatment outweigh any individual cost benefit. Although the American private healthcare system is not ideal, it has produced great care. With reform and small government intervention, it could be as efficient and more helpful than other country systems. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Good luck to the other presenters.